This is Cybert signing into Red Alert Remastered on the map. All that glitters for a six player FFA. In the north as the red Soviets, this is Jack. Scrolling to the middle as the blue allies, and indeed the only allied player in this six player FFA. This is Wugazi. And as the Cyan Soviets in the top left, this is Photonics. Scrolling down to the southern half of the map in the middle, this as the Yellow Soviets is Dengari. In the bottom right, we have the Orange Soviets, Lucas or Lucas. And in the bottom left, we have the Green Soviets, Black Sun. Because if your name is a color, you know, why would you not just choose, you know, like make your name Green Sun and then always play green. But no, Black Sun is playing the green color. Five Soviet players, one allied player. Now this is the map all that glitters, so there is a ton of cash. There are also these two other spawn positions over here. So it can be used as an eight player map also, but in this particular case, we've got six players. Uh, most players getting a decent amount of ore trucks up right from the get go, three or four ore trucks already up for basically everyone, which is good to see. Okay, not so much for Dangari. He went double uh, war factory. By the way, there are crates on in this game mode. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they're going to play much of a role in it, but... Ooh, Service Depot up already as well, so... Uh, MCV killing won't necessarily be the end of the game for Black Sun. Doesn't look like necessarily any of the other players have Service Depots up just yet, but they probably will at some point and uh, be getting multi-MCV. However, at the current moment, uh, everyone is just kind of happy to... Play this one out a little bit more cautiously. And so I will just say thank you to the folks who help support the channel over on Patreon. All time supporters such as Oz Media, Media Storm, Deadly Shadow, Anoxic Spud, and Admiral Akbar47. Big thanks to all of those guys. But as well as other relative newcomers like Interface, Cameron S., David B., Sir Drewer Urwer, Blazon Ace, New Type Nate. Zanyed and someone who goes by the name Team Kill, which is not a great name, but, or at least in theme, it's not a great name, but it is something that we don't have to worry about here in this FFA because they are all a team of one. Oh my gosh, four MCVs. Black Sun currently sitting at four MCVs. And, uh, well, it actually looks like Photonics starting to do the same thing as the minimap suddenly if you look at the minimap and then suddenly there's like a giant block of color that's get that gets added that probably is an additional MCV deploying as MCVs are fairly large represented on the minimap in this particular case uh, it's actually going to be double war factory down here double refinery advanced power plant he did just sell off the service depot and I forget what the rule is, but you can sell off the service depot and then still produce MCVs. Uh, I think there might be something that resets it, like if you lose all of your war factories or something, well, I don't remember. But you can sell off your service depot and still produce more MCVs. Triple MCV, and well, so far, a little bit of skirmishing going around. Triple MCV for Photonics, and now five MCVs for Black Sun. He's got his tech center as well. Uh, or truck taking a little bit of damage from that rifleman, not too much. Everyone did a decent job of spreading out early units just for a bit of an early warning system, but I don't know if these guys had a gentleman's agreement between them, 10 minute no rush or whatever, but absolutely everyone just went gangbusters with the ore trucks, and they're all very happy to play this one out quite passively. Again, maybe there was a bit of a gentleman's agreement between them, but uh, there is definitely a lot of posturing going on with groups of heavy tanks. I guess we do also have some light tanks here from our allied player. He's going light tanks, not medium tanks, and of course that's pretty typical for what we expect from an allied player. 
And in some cases, you know, not all cases, but in some cases, those allied tanks just blitz right past. Ooh, airstrip coming up as well for photonics. Those uh, light tanks blitz right past all of your frontline stuff, and they just go for, like, your five MCVs or however many you have. And uh, Gap Generator also going to be coming up for Wugazi. No second MCV, which is kind of curious. Wugazi, no second MCV. A couple of uh, V2 rockets coming out. No second MCV for Jack. And, okay, two MCVs at least. Yeah, two MCVs for Lucas. So, oh, and three MCVs now. One of them hasn't quite deployed just yet for uh, Dangery. And in the north, it looks like Photonics is going to be the first one to potentially step out here. Jack is kind of invading the uh, potential ore mining space of Photonics. And Photonics is going to be able to push Jack back for the current moment. As you can see, that does eat up some of the ore that is on the map. Man, that spy plan moving fast. So there is a bit of an advantage to fighting on your enemy's territory purely from the destruction of ore point of view. There is a disadvantage to fighting close to home, as that might destroy the ore that is close to you, and then your ore trucks are going to have to move out a bit further to be able to actually harvest. So, actually, Jack, if he attacks to the left, that may leave this entire section of the map over here on the right completely free for his ore trucks to safely gather. And Jack is going to be going for it, rolling into Photonics Base, or at least attempting to. Decent, amount of her decent number of heavy tanks form both sides. One Tesla coil deploys, gets deleted basically immediately. And these V2s getting targeted down quite quickly by Photonics. He's just got purely more heavy tanks than Jack. And every single one of Jack's forces has been cleaned up. And Photonics actually has enough to cross the map and do some serious damage to Jack. He does keep half of his army back home. He is worried about getting backstabbed. And with only half of his army moving out, I'm not sure if he can actually... Oh, he's going to try and go for some harvester kills or some ore refinery kills, rather. Photonics now moving out once again. A couple of players in the south posturing near each other, but they're not engaging just yet. One war factory down, slowing down the protection of Jack. But Jack already has enough heavy tanks here to defend. No one else attacking Photonics behind this, so Photonics is going to retreat with a relatively thin advantage there, killing just one War Factory, trading out a decent number of tanks on the retreat. Heavy tanks are in good number for Jack, although it looks like Wugazi might be turning north. His light tanks are posturing near the middle of the map. He also has taken a second MCV position as he moves one of his MCVs over to the second spawn position on the left there. Always dangerous once you start introducing medium tanks. We'll see how dangerous they really are against these Soviet armies. Uh, more posturing coming in from Jack. Lucas getting ready to go. A little bit of an engagement here. Jack may be firmly committing to the attack. Uh, the front line is a bit stronger from Photonics. And Photonics is going to be able to push Jack back. But, of course, here's the problem. Is he going to actually be able to keep up the pressure? Because winning one fight is good, but if, I, if what happens earlier... Meanwhile, in the south, Lucas is engaging with Dangery, and Dangery might be able to backstab a little bit, but Lucas has a decent amount of heavy tanks back at home. Also, a couple of V2s back there to defend. Dangery not taking a ton of damage. Lucas trying to clean up some of the ore trucks, letting those Tesla coils just work away at his heavy tanks. Eventually, low power mode does shut down those Tesla coils in the North Photonics, has largely pushed back Jack, and finally, Dangery comes back online, but just in time for the second wave coming in from Lucas. He's going to back off, though. Lucas unable to make any more damage happen against Dangery. They're going to be trading out tank armies. Lucas with a de decent number of V2s is going to be able to clear out Dangery's tanks, and Dangery does have a couple of Tesla coils still there, but he is a bit vulnerable at the same time. Wugazi moving in from the north, and that might be the end of Dangery. Uh, Lucas actually does decide to return back home. He pulls back his attack, but at the same time, Wugazi is going to have a pretty easy time walking through the front door of Dangery, and now the only thing that can really save Dangery is nothing as he leaves the game, and then there were five.
Wugazi is completely surrounded, but how much do his opponents really realize that? I guess they probably all know now that uh, Dangery is dead. And being in the middle of the map is a dangerous position to be. So it is good that Wugazi has been able to survive for this amount of time. He is engaging right on the front line. If he can't sneak anything into the back door of Photonic's base, I don't know that he has much of a hope of breaking through the front door. If there's nothing sneaking around to the left side, I think his medium tanks might just die at the front. Tesla coils and turrets both getting in on the action, but this is more than enough heavy tanks from Photonics. He can actually strike into the heart of Wugazi and start doing some critical damage at the same time. He may not even need to, as Lucas is posturing in the south, potentially ready to rush in here and make something happen. The additional turrets coming up are actually allowing Wugazi to hold the front line. Those extra turrets absorbing shots from Photonics and at the same time doing that extra bit of damage just consistently to the front line of Photonics has been a saving grace of Wugazi. Again, I'm not sure that he's actually going to be able to press in and do any damage, but that may not be for him to do. Photonics could get knocked out by Jack and give Wugazi a bit of breathing room. On the left side, Black Sun starting to encroach on the space of Photonics, and this is how it goes with these kind of FFAs. Lucas is posturing in the south. Meanwhile, Black Sun is trying to cut off some of the harvesters, and also he's uh, striking some of the buildings of Wugazi as well. Paradrop comes in. I'm not sure how much those riflemen are going to be able to do, but if they are able to, uh, you know, find some unprotected power plants, they might be able to do a bit of poke damage. Jack having the opportunity to rebuild quite a lot. He's got himself a couple of MiGs as well. And Photonics has run out of basically all of the cash that is near him. At least Lucas still has all of this cash down to the south. He's repositioned his MCV, although that might be getting shut down as Wugazi swings in with a small group of medium tanks. He's going to be able to take down at least one of these MCVs if he dives on it. He's going to have to trade out as one nuke does go off somewhere in the north. Jack and Photonics going at it as the last couple of medium tanks do go down. He is not able to strike down one of the MCVs of Lucas, so Lucas will take the southern position previously occupied by Dangeree. Jack getting pressured. This is the pure madness of Red Alert. MiG's coming in to try and strike down some of those Tesla coils, and that will help Jack if he's able to beat the front line of these tanks. I think Jack has the numbers, but Photonics has been able to hold off on the defensive front every time someone has gotten near to his base. Jack continuing to move forward. He's going to be able to eat up some of these uh, refineries. Only at less than $1,000 in the bank for Photonics. Although, ore trucks are starting to bump into each other there in the middle of the map. One of the MCVs under threat as Lucas is going to have to deal with a second wave of medium tanks coming in here. His heavy tanks are moving into position, but the Tesla coils and the MCV is going to be getting shut down. That build radius will be extinguished, and those medium tanks are going to be trading out their lives at the same time. Photonics going to be losing his front line, and the power plants are getting targeted. Is it actually going to be enough? Jack may finally have enough medium tanks, or heavy tanks rather, coming through to kill off enough power plants to stop these Tesla coils, but no, Photonics barely is brushing through with pure Tesla coil and a couple of heavy tanks. This is costly for Jack. He calls in some paratroopers to start striking down an additional advanced power plant, but the tanks have already been expended, and that is going to do it for the frontline assault of Jack. Even Photonics MCV gets packed up to go for the crush, and the last couple of heavy tanks are still trying to fight their way through for Jack. Jack ultimately will get cleaned up. His MiG's continuing to just make run after run, I think trying to clear up some of the Tesla coils and make the next attack a bit more effective. I've never actually had a Red Alert crash on me like that, but fortunately, I was able to resume the replay, so 
Uh, here we are in it. Lucas just continuing to, continuing to try and press forward. The medium tanks of Wugazi are indeed enough to push him back and to stop him at the same time. A little bit of a spat on the right side of the map. Wugazi pushing through, able to strike down just power plant after power plant. If he gets a couple of uh, MCVs, that's nice as well. <laughs> Suddenly, Black Sun shows up with a bit of a para drop, also just doing a bit of damage and trying to cut off some of the infrastructure of Lucas. These Tesla coils going down without a fight as they lose that electricity and it looks like Black Sun is now going to be trying to invade the land of Lucas. Lucas once again trying to set up in the middle of the map, trying to get an MCV on the front lines there to establish a new area to refine ore from. He's trying to keep his economy alive and he is having a lot of trouble doing that. Black Sun striking him down. Meanwhile, in the north, Jack running around with his heavy tanks, trying to buy as much time. He's crushed basically all of the infantry forces of Photonics, which does allow Jack now to push Photonics back. Meanwhile, in the south, Black Sun pushing forward with his own heavy tanks, and he's here to fight Lucas once again. Lucas, I think, has more than enough defense to uh, make this work, but Black Sun has a second wave of tanks potentially ready in the south. Black Sun might actually be fighting on multiple fronts here as a uh, V2 rocket gets claimed by a crate there for Photonics and then immediately deleted. Black Sun falls to pieces on the eastern front, but on the western front, he is making good progress against Photonics. And if Wugazi would just stop attacking Black Sun for a moment here, Black Sun would actually start attacking photonics or perhaps not as black sun goes for the backstab he finds the undefended angle into the base of wugazi and he might be able to completely sandwich and destroy wugazi our only allied player in this game getting sandwiched by, by Black Sun, and his entire infrastructure has now been compromised. His refineries have largely been shut down. Most of his ore trucks have been destroyed. Actually, quite possibly, all of his ore trucks have been destroyed. Wugazi now going to try and turn south. He's going to do as much damage to Black Sun as he can, but I think Black Sun has done that critical mass of damage, so Wugazi is not going to be able to kill Black Sun with his own standing army, and he is not going to have anything back home to rebuild with. He's got this little bit of a base up there, but Wugazi is completely out of cash, so unless he's got a couple of ore trucks hiding somewhere on the map, and I think he does not then Wugazi is functionally out of this game. He might be able to survive, and he can definitely sell off a bunch of buildings to try and get himself back in this. But I'm not sure how much of a realistic opportunity that is going to be. He's up to almost three grand worth of cash just by selling off stuff in his original main base and centering himself more on the right side of the map. As we see Black Sun and... Uh, Lucas going at it. One ore truck does remain, but it's taking a lot of damage. Wugazi with two ore trucks out on the front line. He is fighting some kind of a fight. I'm not sure that it's the good fight, but it is the dumb fight as he is now dead. Wugazi pushing out. Meanwhile, Black Sun, he gets a couple of heavy tanks up towards Photonic's base. Photonic starting to reclaim some of the ground on the left side of the map. Jack, happy to sit this one out, let the rest of these guys fight amongst themselves. Meanwhile, Jack is just growing a bit stronger every moment in the north. He's got almost no cash left, and I think no more ore will grow in that section of the map. So he is happy to just let these guys fight it out as much as possible. And uh, since he doesn't really have control of any money, it's just Black Sun and Lucas who have some amount of money still left. Black Sun calls in another para drop, trying to get some more reinforcements onto the front line, and that will be it. Black Sun falls apart. Well, that attack in the south does get deleted. And Photonics now with triple Tesla coil trying to defend his base on the left side is eventually going to fall to the superior numbers of Black Sun. And Black Sun has a couple more tanks in the middle of his map to deal with as Wugazi tries to find some kind of way to strike back to get a bit of revenge against Black Sun, who Black Sun has sort of been fighting on three fronts against Lucas, Wugazi, and Photonics, and yet he is doing a pretty good job of winning each of those fights. He still has a decent amount of ore under his control, and he still can uh, continue to harvest that. Well, that is going to be it for Wugazi. There, we are down now to four. It's not too much of a surprise that the first two people to die were the guys in the middle of the map, but Wugazi had a really good chance at actually outlasting Photonics or Jack, and unfortunately, he just did not.
Jack still has three grand left in the bank. Black Sun making more and more progress against the front line of Lucas, but Lucas's power is back online, which means these Tesla coils are going to be able to do able to do so much damage. Photonics, on the other hand, I think is just about out of it. And well, these last couple of heavy tanks are having a really tough time with that iron curtained uh, Tesla coil. I assume that's what that was. But uh, now the Tesla coil is, I think, going to get overwhelmed by the next wave. Jack taking a lot of damage. Black Sun in the south will get surrounded and destroyed. Oh, why are you fighting Jack? Come on, Black Sun. You need to just kill off Photonics. I mean, at the same time, Jack doesn't have a lot of cash under his control, but he does have a bit of an army. So I do understand that Black Sun wants to eliminate that army. His heavy tanks are going to get overwhelmed. Uh, hopefully Jack doesn't continue on to fight Photonics because that would waste what forces that do survive this engagement. That would sort of waste them. Mig's coming in. He is going to be almost able to take down that radar dome. Photonics able to para drop a decent number of troops into the top right hand corner, but they will eventually get cleaned up by that heavy tank who's chasing desperately that last rifleman. But at the same time, Black Sun going to be dropping some additional paratroopers there. He gets the radar dome and not much more than that. Photonics is able to leech away a little bit of cash from the south. He's almost got five grand under his control. Lucas, on the other hand, he's taken that southern section of the map in the absence of Black Sun. It does feel like Black Sun might need to target more uh, Lucas than the others purely because Lucas shares this southern edge of the map, which if Black Sun can control that, then that can feed his economy for the rest of this game. Jack still has $4,500, Photonics has $4,000, and Photonics is just leeching away this ore right from near the middle of the map. Iron Curtain does keep this heavy tank alive for a couple of moments longer, but that heavy tank will eventually go down. Uh, it might actually get one of these ore trucks while it is still just hanging out here. Another bombing run comes in. Another war factory. Ooh, not actually eliminated there. As Black Sun is not able to take that down. And Photonic steps into the middle of the map. He's going to try and defend his ore trucks. If he can get a refinery there in the middle, that is going to hugely help out his cause. I think these guys might also be chatting to each other because it seems like Jack and Photonics have formed a bit of an alliance. They are not attacking each other and they are happy to fight the guys in the south who actually have a bit of economy. Lucas and Black Sun, their heavy tanks still trading in the south, but Black Sun is starting to get double teamed in the north. Jack has enough heavy tanks to be a serious threat to Black Sun that Black Sun cannot ignore. And now Black Sun's harvesters are potentially under threat here as all of these heavy tanks from Jack are uh, mostly unopposed there in the middle of the map. I guess that Tesla coil is getting a couple of shots there. Uh, Mig's making a couple of bombing runs against Lucas. Once again, Black Sun utilizing his Air Force as we have seen him utilize his Air Force all throughout this game. And yeah, look at that. Jack just exiting. Riding really close to the forces of Photonics but not actually engaging them. And this is sort of an unholy alliance formed between these guys. Black Sun, he's almost out of cash, but he has still a couple of ore deposits around his area that he can control. Jack and Photonics, they are happy to just play this one out with an unholy alliance between the two of them. Another nuke fires off somewhere on the map. Photonics is actually uh, decently set up, all things considered. Advanced power plants getting targeted down. Uh, Photonics may not be so well set up. We'll see if Black Sun is able to cut off his his uh, access to the ore. Black Sun is, as you can see, not totally mining out. Actually, one patch of ore does regrow over there, so I think that will sort of spread out. Ooh, Paradrop in the south. Uh, well... It looks like Black Sun is ready for it. He's got now uh, one Tesla coil. He did have a second Tesla coil there, but it looks like he did sell it off. We're entering a bit of a stalemate between these four remaining players. Mostly about those airstrikes, because uh, nobody really has uh, anti-air to shut down those airstrikes. 
Another power plant going down, I think. Black Sun pushing in in the south. Uh, it looks like Lucas does have enough to defeat him. Meanwhile, the heavy tanks in the north. Oh, this is not enough numbers here from Photonics, especially if they engage a little bit closer to some potential defenses from Black Sun. Black Sun is going to be able to hold off sort of both sides at once. He is protecting that little bit of ore there in the middle so that he keeps the regrow going. And I guess this is not going to grow into additional ore. Jack moving in. No, Jack is deciding to back off. He says, I don't want to fight Lucas. I'm happy just hanging out in my section of the map. You know, I don't have a lot of ore under my control. There isn't any really ore that I can safely reach. And Black Sun is happy to just keep working away at this ore that is close to Photonics. And Photonics might just try and go for it. He's got the Iron Curtain on his side. Meanwhile, the MiG's coming for another pass. And he's hoping this one Iron Curtain tank is going to absorb all of the damage. But it just can't kill the tanks fast enough. And that, I think, will be the end of the ground army of Photonics. Uh, he might try and dive, I guess, on these ore trucks. He's not trying to dive on any of the infrastructure. Which I feel like the only way for... Uh, Photonics and Jack to win this one would be one of them has to dive on the infrastructure but Photonics is almost dead but Black Sun has actually just let those five or six remaining heavy tanks just continue to go at whatever they want. Those ore trucks have basically all gotten cleaned up. Meanwhile Jack calls in some paratroopers and at the same time Photonics is attacking with Jack well, Black Sun is on the other side of the map, and the entire army of Lucas was extremely slow to react. So an MCV, a couple of power plants are going to be going down. Those were not sold off. Well, okay, that was. But most of these were not sold off, which means there was no cash back value for them. Another MCV might get targeted down, or he's just going for the ore refineries. If he can cut down all of the ore refineries, there may not be much more for Lucas to do. No, Lucas barely keeps that ore refinery alive, and Photonics' forces on the front line never were taken care of. And this is a case of, like, probably the, be the best 1v1 player in this group in this particular game is Black Sun, based on how he's playing this out. But there's a very real chance that he doesn't win this purely because the other players have kind of teamed up on him. He's still going to be able to hold this off. Photonics nearly had him. A little bit of sell-off there from Black Sun. He still has probably the most ore under his main control. Uh, Jack coming in with a couple of more airstrikes. Not going to be able to kill anything completely. And, well, when you've got almost nothing left, what do you do? You cross the map and see if you can kill the other guy. And it looks like that is exactly what Lucas is going to do. The MCV is once again going to be getting shut down. That uh, one Tesla coil I don't think will be enough. Mass sell-off from Black Sun. He's getting some more cash under his control. Uh, but is he going to be able to stop this attack moving in from Lucas? Momentarily, Black Sun has to stop attacking Photonics, and he is going to mass sell off all of his airstrips. So he gets out an additional ore truck. He doesn't have a whole lot of units. He's hoping his infantry can hold off the army of Lucas, but Lucas has a pretty deep bench here, relatively speaking, and Lucas could actually just punch in here. He might be able to kill Black Sun right here, right now, if he uh, moves everything. At the same time, Black Sun does have a couple of paratroopers in the back door of Lucas, just hanging out in his main base, clearing up a couple of those buildings, and it looks like the potential last of the ore trucks are going to get taken down. Photonics and Jack their unholy alliance has led them to outlast Black Sun. And then there were three. And it might end up being Jack and uh, Lucas, purely because Photonics has more of a presence on the map. So Photonics will be the more clear target. Okay. Airstrike starting to come in from Jack. He's trying to eat up some of the forces of Lucas. Or trucks from Photonics. Photonics is like the king of the leeches, man. He is in the top left-hand corner, and he has spread almost down to the bottom edge of the map. We have a little bit of a pair drop going to be coming in here from Photonics as well. So he's going to be able to kill this power plant. No, he's going for something else. He might be going for that advanced power plant up there. I'm not sure what these guys owe. Was that a select all army command? He dropped paratroopers in the bottom right hand corner of the map and then I think he like all army selected moved them 
to the middle of the map, and so that was kind of a useless para drop there uh, for getting a couple of riflemen into the back of your opponent's base. It's a bit unfortunate that it ended that way. Black Sun removed from the game. Lucas, the clear favorite, as he actually has the closest ore, at least to his original main base. He may not actually have the closest ore. Photonics might have a closer refinery than he does. But Black Sun could definitely kill Photonics if he went for it at the same time with how Photonics and Jack have been, uh, you know, forming their alliance. I think Jack would backstab. And that may be exactly what happens. I think it's a para drop in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. He also has a heavy tank there, and it looks like most of the riflemen are going to be getting cleaned up. But at the same time, Photonics' tanks aren't going to be living much longer here in the middle of the map. Jack is going all out. They're going to try and double-team Lucas, and Jack is going to be moving into a completely undefended base. Maybe eight heavy tanks are here, and Lucas knows that it's pretty much it. He doesn't have very many buildings left, and it's going to come down to Jack and Photonics, and that is pretty much going to be who is left. So how much damage can Lucas do to Photonics? Well, this is the last War Factory, and that is going to be it for Lucas. Jack and Photonics. They should both be out of this game a while ago because they actually have no cash. And now Jack has the bigger army, but he has not harvested any ore in I don't even know how long, but it feels like maybe 15 minutes or something. So Jack has the much bigger standing army, but Photonics has the longevity. So if Photonics is able to just outlast the army of Jack... Uh, I guess we'll see. Okay, Photonics moving his MCV. If he deploys his MCV right here, I don't know if he'll have enough time because Jack senses blood in the water and he is going to go for it. He knows that this is maybe his one opportunity. Uh, there's a bunch of advanced power plants up here. That might be the better place to strike. We'll see. There's nothing. There's no power drop or anything coming in for Photonics at the current moment. One refinery going to get targeted down. Iron Curtain on the Tesla Coil as it's about half health. And the last couple of tanks coming in here for Photonics. Jack is able to crush through the tanks. And there the Iron Curtain finally wires off. That Tesla Coil doing so much damage. And Jack with three heavy tanks forgotten up in the north. And that is going to be it for the ground army of Jack. And that's going to be it. Jack doesn't go on a last assault. You could see him selling off in the top right-hand corner of the map, and I can't believe it. Photonics takes the game. Seven credits left. 770 units killed. And there's the GG. So Jack drops out, and Photonics wins. As it turns out, repositioning to the southern half of the map was the game-winning move, and that will do it for this match. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the insanity, and this is Cyber, signing out.